morning, River of Life. As usual, it's a privilege to speak to you and to open God's Word and just to trust God to speak to us, you know, through His Word. I, I've, I've so many times experienced in my life, if I can just get God's Word in, into me, it brings so much peace and really changes the way I think and I feel for that day or for that moment. I want to remind you of a way that we use to practically engage with God's Word. We call it the SOAP. The SOAP process, so SOAP stands for, the S stands for scripture, the O for observation, the A for application, and the P for prayer. So this morning I use scripture, I'm going to read out of Psalm 91 and also Deuteronomy 32. It seems like the two books really connect to each other, the two chapters. So that will be my scripture, and then I, I have about four verses that I observed, that I highlighted, and I want to discuss the application of those verses, and then lastly I want to pray about it so let's start of psalm 91 verse 14 it says because he loves me says the lord i will rescue him i will protect him for he acknowledges my name if i stop at this verse i i want to say so often when i walk down the passage in my house early in the morning and i see my three kids still sleeping and i see my wife you know my heart um, just opens up for them and i always just uh, you know, cry out to God and say, Lord, please just protect my children, protect my wife, protect me. And then the circle will just go, go bigger. I will ask for protection of my family and my friends, our congregation, our community. So we have this deep desire for God's protection. I think it's because we know we're so futile as human beings. We so, we're so here today and gone tomorrow. I mean, we can absolutely do nothing without God's protection. If I read this verse, verse 14 of Psalm 91, it says, Because he or she loves me, I will protect him. Can I encourage you this morning in saying, if you really desire God's protection, if your heart is really after his protection, the first step in receiving his protection is if you are a son or a daughter, a man or a woman loving God. He says, because you love me, I will protect you. And it goes on, and I want to read you also in Psalm 91, verse, verse 1 and 2. It says, Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. So, whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. So, let's put this together with verse 14. So verse 14, we say, oh, can God please protect us? And then God replies, he says, if you're the one loving me, I will protect you. So now in verse 1 and 2, I read something of the love, the relationship. It says, I cannot love God if I'm not in his presence, if I'm not in close proximity. So I don't want to encourage you. I don't think it's possible to do life without really moving closer to God every day. It's become a habit, a habit in my life to, to wake up in the morning and say, Lord, I don't want to start from a place and move away from my house and, and do things if I don't start off by being very close to you, Lord. Because it's only in God's shadow, the word says, that we will find rest and shelter. So what is rest? God's rest is peace of mind, peace of heart, a deep sense of knowing, you know, a stable, stable heart saying, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I have my feet on a solid rock. No matter what comes, I know that I know because my feet is on the rock, I will be fine. And that, my friend, only comes from being very close to God early in the mornings and throughout the day. But I want to put this in relationship with Deuteronomy 32, verse 47. And these are Moses' words, and he speaks to Israel just before they have to cross the Jordan into the promised land. So now they have to go over and they will have life in abundance. They will have the promises. And me and you, we today trust God for His promises. We trust Him for His, for His protection. And we already seen the protection is there, the promise is there. If we come close, if we in his, you know, take shelter in Him and in His presence. But the words of Moses says the following. It speaks of the Word of God. In those days, it was, the, you know, the law of Moses. But we know today in the New Covenant, it's the Bible. It's the full story of Jesus in relationship, in relation to the Old Testament. It says, they are not just idle words for you. Saying the word of God is not just idle words. It's not just a story. It says, they are your life. 
By them you will live long in the land you are crossing the Jordan to possess. I want to I wanna just say this morning, so often we can become so clever. We can come up with so many, so many means and ways of doing life. Uh, make sure that this is in place and this is in place and make sure that you find your direction and, and, and in this way and if you do this God will find you there but I want to say this morning nothing nothing that you've ever learned of God from God will ever be sustainable if you don't agree with this this morning number one you have to be close to God you have to be in his presence number two and number three the word of God is our very life I find many Christians having a, or a supposedly strong relationship with God, praying a lot and speaking a lot, but I find them not reading a lot, not reading and, and delving into the character of God. I want to encourage you this morning. If you want your life to be changed forever, if you want answers in difficult days, if you want stability in your heart and your feet, uh, you know, on, on a strong foundation, the only way, the only way will be is if you spend time in the word of God so let's open our hearts let's let's uh, stir up this desire this hunger of grabbing a hold of God's word really getting to his presence every day and may he be the giver of rest and peace over our lives let us just pray together father thank you that we can trust you that if we do what you ask us to do you will always be on your place Lord I know that you are the stable one you are the ever-present one you are the constant one. You are the loving one. And you're always sitting literally on the verge of your, of your seat to be involved in our lives and to change our lives and to help us. But then you say this, please be and find your, pre your, your comfort in my presence. Come close to me. Love me. And rely your whole life on the very words of my word, my Bible, because that is life. So Lord, as we're going to enter this day, I pray for your blessing. I pray that you would make it possible for us to really grab a hold of your word, do what it says, and follow you in this day. In Jesus' name, amen. Until next time, thank you.